Live from the Dietrich Gymnasium in New Britain, Connecticut, it's Northeast Conference Basketball. Central Connecticut Blue Devils welcoming in the Wagner College Seahawks. Central Connecticut starting out this game in zone. Nice entry down low to Amon, and he goes up and scores. Four quick ones for Wagner, and they've got themselves an early cushion just one minute in. Central back to Jones, takes it off. Balance shot, and he hits right over a defender. Jones, the quick head fake. He'll go lefty again, misses that one. Short rebound pulled in by Cooper. Seahawks very quick up the floor, and Dewan Anderson doing Dewan Anderson things. Uh, Corey Henson known to be able to light him out himself. But we see here one of his seven assists to the human highlight reel, Dwayne Anderson, able to rise high above the rim. You know, Corey Henson, you know, when you have Dwayne Anderson running, just throw it up there and go get it, big fella. Ball out to the wing, wide open three from the corner, knocked down by JoJo Cooper. Draws a double, had it poked away, throws back up top. Pratted for three, rims out, no good. But how about Phoenix goes up and gets another six hey, points hey, off the bench for Evan Phoenix. Yeah. Be the most, we have four this late in the year tied for first. Catch and shoot three for Pratted. The corner hey. is good, and the Miami native gets three of them back for Central and brings them to within six. Seahawks moving it quickly again. Saunders with another tray. Uh, Saunders, it's his second three in transition to score. The odds are then we're going to be up eight or at worst seven and in the halftime. Henson rises for the corner three and sticks. Exactly what the Seahawks wanted as they milk block and hit. No, actually, I think that was, uh, was Craddock. Heyman shoots and scores. Amazing how he's able to get that with the left hand. For moving the ball and getting the ball into the high post area and then the bound around the rim. Extra pass down low for Brooks, and he's able to hit. Head hander, Ed Mead, in a hurry. Leaves it outside, head fake on the three. Back to Ed Mead, he's open, 4-3, good. Ed Mead starting to feel it, able to get to the basket on the penetration. Because it's so against his instinct, he's trying to walk it up the floor and he can't do it. Ball across to the right side, so not able to finish another one as he's got a half dozen on the afternoon now. He will dribble out and they will expire the final 13 seconds. A wire to wire win for Wagner, only one timeout taken the whole game. They removed all doubt early and they show the entire NEC why they are in first place all alone headed to the final week. Your final score, Wagner 83, Central Connecticut 57. And there we see the second youngest coach in the country Congratulating the veteran on his retirement and then that obviously the, the class man and person and Howie Dickerman wishing Sheer Mason and the Wagner Seahawks luck in the NEC tournament. The and there we are seeing a legend walking off the court. Yep. It's been an honor to you know, call Howie Dickerman a friend and, and a, uh, you know, someone I, was, I just enjoyed competing against. Victorious coach, Sheer Mason. You know, you're the second youngest coach in the country, and you get to play against a veteran who just announced his retirement. Talk about your respect and thoughts of Coach Dickerman. A uh, tremendous amount of respect for, uh, for Coach. Um, you know, I've been in the league for six years, and uh, he's had some great, great players. Well, we haven't had a lot of success here in this gym. Um, you know, I, I learned a lot from him at the head coaches' meetings, and, um, you know, he's a, he's a champion. He's, he's what every coach aspires to be, and... Yo, he did it as long as he could. I got a lot of respect for that. Well, he's taken his team to the NCAA tournament three times. You put your team in position, probably the best position since you've been here. Big win on Thursday, overtook first place. And talk about this trap game. And now you won on, these, on this road swing and now heading back for two home games and a chance at the number one seed. Yeah, well, that, you know, that was our goal, you know, to try to be our, our regular season champions. Uh, you know, we didn't want to lose this game, to drop this game, to have us drop back in with the pack that's really tight. Uh, there's a lot of parity with the league, uh, so I'm proud of my guys. We came in and took care of business, and um, you know we got two games to go. We got to finish out strong. Well, taking better care of business. We also have Mike Amon. He had a great game tonight. Thanks, Coach, and we'll bring in Coach Eight. We'll bring in Mike here. Hello. Mike, how you doing? Good morning, boss. <laughs> well, talk about your play inside. Uh, you were a big force inside against the zone early on, attacking the offensive glass, and also just catching the ball and finishing around the basket. I mean, the guys gave me the ball exactly. Exactly where all I have to do is turn around, shoot it, easy layup. So all those guys get the credits. I mean, they were just giving me easy layups, easy hook shots, wide open. So, I mean, thank Coop been uh, uh, phenomenal lately with driving, kicking with his assists. So 
he needs to keep that up, and I know he will. Well, your Wagner Seahawks are in first place all by themselves. You finish this four-game road swing with the lead, and you go back home to Staten Island for two home games. Talk about the importance of those games and gaining the number one seed for the NEC tournament. I mean, the number one seed is what we all had from the beginning of last season. Two weeks after the season ended, that was our goal. We worked hard every single day, and now these two home games mean a lot, especially with St. Francis PA right behind us. So we know how important that is, but Robert Morris, you can't sleep on either. I mean, Ronnie Pryor, is, he's, a different, he's a different player in this league, so we're going to need to lock him up again like we did the first time. Wagner picking up the victory today improves to 18-9 and nine overall in the year, but most importantly, 11-5 and five in Northeast Conference play. Central Connecticut falls to 4-23, and 3-13 and 13 in NEC play. So, for Dave Calloway, I'm John Cabral saying so long from New Britain, where the final score is Wagner 83, Central Connecticut 57. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Three players.